Okay, I've written scripts to draw three different shapes. This one draws a triangle. It repeats three times and each time turns 120 degrees. This one draws a square. It repeats four times and each time turns 90 degrees. This one repeats five times to draw a pentagon and each time turns 72 degrees. Let's look at these run. That first one drew a triangle. The next one drew a square. The next one drew a pentagon. Okay, now I want to draw a hexagon, and I'm going to try and use division instead of guess and check to calculate how much I should turn each time. So let's look at the pattern. Here I repeated three times, and each time turned 120 degrees. So that's like 3 times 120, which is 360. On the square, I repeated four times, and each time turned 90 degrees. So that's four times that I turn 90 degrees, or four times 90, and that equals 362. On the pentagon, I repeated five times, turning 72 degrees. So that's like turning 72 degrees five times, or five times 72, and that is also 360 degrees. So for all three of these shapes, the total amount that I turned was 360 degrees. Let's see if we can use that to figure out how to draw a hexagon. So I make a copy and I know I need to repeat six times because I have six sides to my hexagon. To figure out how many degrees I put in there, what I want to do is I want to do 360 divided by six. I can have Scratch do the math for me and I can just say 360 divided by six. Let's see if that works. Looks like it did. 360 divided by 6, you might already know what the answer is, but you can take out paper, but it is just 60 degrees, so I can type that in as well. So I can use Scratch to do the math for me, or I can do it myself. So now this one draws a hexagon, and I did that not using guess and check, but using division to calculate exactly how much I should turn each time. You'll be able to use this to draw other shapes, like an octagon and even a circle.